1916. Magdalena refuses to accept that both our sons have now taken up service in the name of the Kaiser and the people. This is madness. I never wanted to believe Father, but perhaps he was right. Perhaps she cannot be helped. Ever since Father came to stay with us nine years ago, she has changed completely. I have administered Quicksilver. After a brief protest, she finally quietened down. Coincidences. It is a sign. I have been working on the dummy again. I am trying to fill it with life so that Johannes will accept it and finally return to me. among Carl's father's exotic plants. A piece of my home. While Carl was away, Herr Dupre and I made use of the time to take a tour of the house. He didn't want to see the cuckoo. He believes me. When we entered the salon, he said he felt an icy chill right where the old tyrant died. He brought nothing but misfortune upon us, even when he was still alive. Herr Dupre says that the house attracts many angry souls. He says I should use charms, spirit bells, and knocking three times for the Trinity to try and ward them off until our next session. The angels will aid me in this. I want to believe him, but the awful cuckoo knocks too and calls out and wants to eat constantly. It is driving me out of my mind.
tree is taking root. A gift from Santa Balbina among Carl's father's exotic plants. A piece of my home. And don't you forget it! I just wanted to play with it. Get your own! But mine isn't red. You stubborn little so-and-so. All right then. But make sure you bring it back. Promise? I promise.
Now you're wet too! 
Stop splashing! Mama, he got water on me and now I'm all wet. Come and sit on the bank with me. There you go. Now, put your feet in the water. Nice and warm, isn't it? Warm and wet. <laughs> Look at the sailboats. They're so fast. I bet they're going to America. From Vanze? The lakes aren't that big. Well, who knows? Maybe they'll find a way. They could sail down the harbor, then the Elba, and all the way to Hamburg. The gateway to the world. From there, anything's possible. Those weren't soldiers in the church. I'm sure of it. I heard the screams of women when our gas shells hit. The others say I'm imagining things, but I know what I heard. I think Rosala knows too. He was the one who fired the shells, and his face was as white as chalk afterward. I shall go and look tonight. I need to know for sure.
Madness has got to stop. You hear me? No! I want my son back! You and your wretched new reporter! You took him away from me! I was right. By 
God, there were civilians in the church. I tried to tell our newly minted Leutnant what I saw, but he didn't want to hear it. He laughed. He said I shouldn't act like such a crybaby in front of the men, and the Supreme Army Command know what they are doing. But he knows I warned him about the church. I don't recognize him anymore. What have they done to him? I shall try to talk to the doctor. Perhaps there are survivors. <laughs>